The folding roof is operated by two principal systems. The computer and the hydraulic unit. The computer receives signals about the progress of the operation from the contactors in the system and operates the hydraulic unit. This unit consists of a mineral oil tank an electrically driven pump and electrically operated valve. The direction of rotation of the pump can be reversed by means of two relays. The computer continuously monitors the temperature of the hydraulic unit through a thermistor. The hydraulic unit employs five actuators to operate the roof. Two actuators for the folding roof, two actuators for the trunk lid. One actuator for the rear parcel shelf. The computer is able to operate the roof actuators for opening, and closing the roof by reversing the direction of pump rotation. The actuators for the trunk lid and rear parcel shelf operate differently. These three actuators are always pressurized at the piston end, whatever the direction of pump rotation, thanks to a system of non-return valves. The electrically operated valve transmits pressure to the opposite end of these actuators when required and, owing to the different surface areas on which the pressures are exerted, then creates a force differential, which deploys the actuator. The computer is continuously powered and receives the engine running and vehicle speed signals. The roof operating switch, for its part, is powered once the ignition switch is turned to the accessories plus position. A contactor sends a signal to the computer when the blind is extended in the boot. The boot lock also carries a contactor which notifies the computer. To begin the opening cycle, the driver opens the locking hooks. A contactor at each side then sends an appropriate signal to the computer. When the operating switch is actuated, the computer first lowers the side windows. The computer then operates the electrical pump in the closure direction, as well as the electrically operated valve. Since the roof is closed, the roof actuators are at full travel and hence inoperative. Since the electrical valve is open, the trunk lid and rear parcel shelf actuators deploy. Using a system of cables, the two trunk lid actuators unlock the two front locks and then lift the trunk lid. The rear parcel shelf actuator also deploys. 
but because its barrel is free to move in the longitudinal direction, this has no effect on the parcel shelf. Once the computer receives the trunk lid open signal, it reverses the direction of pump rotation. The roof actuators then commence their opening action and the roof is folded. As the roof comes to the end of its cycle, it trips a lever which immobilizes the barrel of the parcel shelf actuator and closes the roof open contactor. As soon as the computer receives the roof open signal, it switches off the electrical valve. The operation of the trunk lid and rear parcel shelf actuators is then reversed and the trunk lid closes. The piston of the parcel shelf actuator is also retracted and the parcel shelf is extended. The computer continues to operate the electrical pump until closure of the parcel shelf out contactor and then of the two trunk lid locked contactors. The closing cycle takes place in the reverse direction and employs two other contactors. The parcel shelf stowed contactor and the roof closed contactor. The computer utilizes the signals from the different contactors to measure the duration of each phase of the cycle. For example, the roof opening phase begins with the opening of the roof closed contactor and ends when the roof open contactor closes. The computer checks that the duration of the phase is within the expected tolerances. Otherwise, it considers that there is a hydraulic or mechanical fault and stops the process. If this happens, release the operating switch and then start the procedure again. The computer also checks the status of the contactors throughout the process. Thus, during the roof opening phase, if the trunk lid open contactor is open, the computer halts the process. However, it is still possible to close the roof.